Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today we're going to be looking at probably my favorite find ever from Harbor Freight, right? I love this thing. This bad boy, I've been using it for almost two years. This two and a half inch table swivel vise is awesome, man. Mounts up easy, super cool. We're going to talk about it. So come along, let's get to fixing. All right, so here we go. This is the Central Forge table swivel vise with anvil from Central Forge, right? This is from Harbor Freight. If you guys are worried and concerned about the Harbor Freight thing, well, you know what? Just do this. Take this product out of the box, throw the box away, and then grab this vise and just peel the sticker off of it because there's just a sticker on it. And check that out. Guess what? Now you've got something that's got no label on it and it is awesome. Really, this is one of my absolute favorite tools that I have found. Like I said, I've been using this for a couple of years and I take it with me out on, you know, little projects. Like if I'm shooting a video somewhere and I need something outside of my picnic table, or I was over at my friend's house doing a little work outside because he didn't have a vice at his house. Well, it's pretty cool, man. Like, I really like it. And then most of the time, it actually just clamps right to my desk in my office. And that's where it sets. Okay, so let's start with mounting this first, okay? I mean, it's got a blue, nice paint job on it. You see these three holes right here? You could actually mount this to the tabletop if you wanted to. But it's got this clamp right here that actually allows you to, to tighten this down to a table. Now, if we open this the whole way up, it actually says that it fits a table that is an inch and five eighths thick. And if we look at that right there, um, and if we look at that, and if you look at that right there, it's about an inch and three quarters, but that's open the whole way up. You're gonna want a little play in there. And then all you do is you just take this, set that on there, and then just tighten it down, right? Get that tightened up. And good to go. Now it's just my table moving. It's on there pretty good. So now this is a swivel. like. So now let's talk about the swivel aspect of this, right? There is a knob over here, and then we'll check out the knob over on the right side in just a second. But if we loosen this up, go counterclockwise, we're actually able to turn these jaws right here. And so we can go from this little flat jawed set to this grooved diamond set over here. It's gonna be good for holding metal. And you just get it to the desired locale and tighten it back up. It's good to roll. Let's check out the other side. If we come over to this side right here, there's one underneath here, counterclockwise. And now all of a sudden this swivels. Right, so it's pretty sweet. You've got it to where you can set it up a couple different ways, you get it where you want, and it rock and rolls, dude. Okay, so now if you go to open these jaws up, it says the jaws will open up a two full inches here. As it gets out towards the end, it actually gets a little bit hard to open, but I've never really had this small vise out this far. And that's as far out as it'll go. And you can see right there that actually is a little bit past the two inches. Um, it doesn't actually want you to probably come out as far as it'll go, because that was definitely as far as it'll go. If 
for the most part, this is a pretty smooth action, right? Like, say initially it's a little bit hard back here, but once you get in a little bit more, where like it's actual range of motion, it's pretty good. It's got some good movement. It seems like it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't really wobble too much. When you tighten something up in there, it tightens very well. Okay, so let's talk about the dual jaws. There are a lot of these out there that don't have the dual jaws and they'll actually just give you like plastic covers to go over this type of diamond style of jaw or you know the ones that actually grip usually metal. Um, you know, they'll put the plastic pieces over it for wood or for plastic. But this one actually has the cool feature of flipping it over and it's got flat plates on it. So it is pretty cool. It's a, like nice little dual feature. And it just adds another level of flexibility, like moving this around, being able to check this out is pretty cool. It also has an anvil. There's an anvil back here. You could do some light shaping if you needed to. I mean, this is small and I'm probably not really gonna beat on something, but maybe if I had to make a nail straight or I had to make some other little piece of something straight, I would use that for that because it would work pretty good. Okay, so I didn't wanna tear this whole thing apart, but I did wanna show you the breakdown, right? This actually comes with a whole parts list and it'll show you if anything breaks, you could just get an, a replacement for it and get it hooked up. The only thing that doesn't come apart the way that I see right here is actually this clamp. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you can see, you can pop everything out, right? You could take the jaws out. It's just some, uh, just some Phillips head screws in there and they pop off really easy. You can pop these screws out, pop that screw out right there. The whole thing is gonna come out this way. The only thing is this right here, right? This is actually looks like it's kind of flared on in some way and that's not gonna come off. You're actually gonna be pretty hard pressed. You would have to um, kind of bend that out or try to like actually just keep unscrewing this or something until it popped out. And then you'd have to hammer it back on once you got it in place. I don't know. So that's the only thing in that whole breakdown right there that I seen that was not really gonna work the way that they were saying. But everything else, comes apart and will come out. So pretty sweet. Okay guys, so I put this on a scale and it weighs almost seven and a half pounds. Like this bad boy, that's not a lot of weight for such a nice, well-built tool in my opinion. I mean, this is solid metal, it's a cast iron body. Okay folks, so that is, okay folks, so this is the two and a half inch table swivel vise from Central Forge, right? Pick this bad boy up at Harbor Freight. One of my favorite Harbor Freight finds. Do me a favor, drop me some comments. Let me know what your favorite tools from Harbor Freight are. I know people out there use them. Some people are totally against Harbor Freight, but honestly, when you need a cheap tool, hey, hook it up, man. When I first started plumbing and I didn't have any money, I totally went to Harbor Freight, bought a bunch of stuff that lasted me a long time some of it I still actually have, a couple of pipe wrenches. I mean, they're heavy mugs, dude. But you know what? They take pipe apart. They put pipe together. It works out really well. When I got a chance to upgrade, I sure did. But it's awesome. It really, it serves a purpose. And when you find gems like this bad boy, it's totally worth it, in my opinion. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Another thing I want to tell you, man, I looked these things up. And I'm gonna tell you, Amazon, eBay, like people are charging double, almost triple for one of these things, right? So getting one at Harbor Freight for 22 bucks, steal, once again. I don't have any links for that. I'm not, this is not sponsored video or anything. This is just me 
having used this for almost a couple years and wanting to do a little tour of you. I really hope you folks enjoy this video. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. We're just trying to help out. We hope we're doing that. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.